Yesterday I brewed a beer, a German steam beer, with the intention of drinking it at the end of the week. Grain to glass in seven days. Well, one day after brew day, I've already screwed something up. Let's check in on the beer. So here's what's happened. Yesterday I chilled my work down to about 68 Fahrenheit and then moved it into the fermenter. I want to ferment at 72 Fahrenheit or 22 Celsius, so I set 72 into my temperature controller. And then, well, I went about my day. I came back a few hours later to look at the temperature controller only to find it still said the beer was at 68 Fahrenheit. Well, turns out I hadn't put the temperature probe into the thermal well and 68 degrees wasn't the temperature of the wort at all. It was the ambient temperature of my basement. Meanwhile, the heat pad that's attached to the back of this fermenter had been on the whole time trying to heat up the wort. So when I did put my thermometer back into this thermal well, I was quite concerned as to how hot the wort had got. Unfortunately, it wasn't too bad, only a few degrees too much, and I quickly got down to the right temperature using my glycol chiller, and I've been holding steady at around 71 or 72 Fahrenheit since. Also, much to my delight, within a few hours after that, I started to see some bubbles coming out of the airlock here, and that's been the case for a solid 24 hours now. So I need to see what gravity I'm at after the first 24 hours. But before I do that, there's, there's something I've been dying to show you. And that is this guy, a beer froster. I've always wanted one of these fridges with a glass door so you could see in at all your beverages. But it turns out this thing does quite a lot more specifically related to getting your beer the right temperature. Now the first thing that really makes this very suitable for beer is you just have this temperature here right on top. It's very clear what temperature all the beers are going to be in your fridge. And you can set this to be super, super cold. I think it goes all the way down to 24 Fahrenheit. 23 Fahrenheit, okay. And that's important because different beer styles are best served at different temperatures. There is also a button here to turn this light on and off so you can see what's in here. There's a party mode which runs the fridge at super cold temperatures for six hours. So no matter how many times you open it and close it, the beer will stay cold. But the mode that I wanna to test today is called turbo mode. You run this and within one hour, this is supposed to maximize the coldness. So if you've got a six pack of beer that's just been kind of sat out on the shelf and you wanna drink it quick, you're supposed to be able to put this in here, press turbo and you'll get your beer super cold, super quick. So I wanna run a little experiment to find out if that's true. So here's how this is going to work. I have a jar here, a mason jar, just full of room temperature water. And I'm going to see how quickly the fridge can cool this down. And to measure that, I have cracked open and found at the back of a box a tilt hydrometer. I have not used one of these in a long time. And yeah, I don't care about the gravity of my water, but this does also report temperature. So let's take the tilt, drop it in the water and then look at the Tilt app, which, <laughs> which is showing me that the, uh, the last beer I brew with this is a Berliner Weiss from my homebrew challenge, category 23A. But that was a good while ago. Anyway, I can see here that the temperature is 69 Fahrenheit. So let's take this and put it in the fridge. Okay, gravity time. I've connected a sample port to my CF5 so I can take daily samples. Interesting to see that beer really looks carbonated. I'm just gonna degas that beer just in case. Okay, Easy Dens at the ready. 1.016. 
holy heck. It's nearly done already. So how did the beer froster do after one hour in the fridge? Well, damned if I know, because it looks like my tilt just kind of ran out of batteries. It's not connecting to my phone anymore. But fortunately, I do have another thermometer. And it's reporting 41 Fahrenheit. Pretty good. That is really perfect drinking temperature. Now, what I'd like to try next is to get a beer all the way down to 23 Fahrenheit in the beer froster. And I, I really need your help for that. Can you recommend a good craft beer that is best served at that sort of coldness. Also, if you're interested in learning more about the Beer Froster, New Air have provided me with a coupon code and I've added that in the description for the video. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to be demoing two canning options, which are created by two completely different manufacturers, but when paired together, I think are just like the perfect solution for canning beer. So join me tomorrow and we'll take a look at that.